this session. De Enes Media, Carlos Lacasta de ArcelorMittal, Igor Nanue de S21SEC y Ramón Erquiaga de Sercolat. Vamos a darles un aplauso. A big round of applause, please. Pero si os parece, antes de empezar a preguntaros, vamos a hacer una pregunta a la audiencia. Let's ask a question to the audience, because you know that we are listening to you uh, in Twitter, but also uh, in our website, there's an interaction, interaction space. There you can uh, ask your questions too. Uh, a first question, and please help us to answer. It's a general question. Uh, companies, we don't have a perception of what a cyber sex entails, uh, threats, costs real interest of attackers. Do you agree with that? I think everything is expressed here. Companies don't really know what are the implications of cybersecurity, risks, costs, and what is this referred, referring to intervention on production line, access to uh, customers' information, economic uh, data. What about the public? Do, uh, do you agree with this? And this is it, the, maybe the opinion of the uh, industry in uh, Gipuzkoa. Ausi galdera beraz, eta zuek egindako galderen eh, artean, badira batzuk esan dezagun desiente ere badirela, nik beste batzuk ere jaso ditut, eta me vais a permitir que empiece... Allow me to gather a, a series of comments out of your presentations. There's not a single process, but it's important to know what is the precise situation of each company. If you don't have the basic element as a spell check, don't expect to be protected. Use your common sense. In the case of ArcelorMittal, they said that this is an, an application for a specific maturity level in CyberSec. I don't know if you agree with that. Can we transfer that into uh, the industries in Gipuzkoa? Let's start with the first step. It has to be a well-planned process. Can you answer? I believe that uh, we need to know where we are exactly before taking action, before having a cyber sec plan. We should know what is the status and the situation of companies. We need to have a snapshot of their real situation in CyberSec. And after this uh, snapshot, we can devise plans and have a strategy uh, for solutions, for Im plans to be implemented. If we don't know where we are, we don't know what we need. In the province of Gipuzkoa, the truth is that uh, we're not perfect. There's room for improvement, especially in planning. We need to know what are the threats to which we are exposed. Today in CyberSec, we know that there is security by obscurity, by darkness. We don't know we are, what are our threats, the hazards are out there, so people don't really know what's in the dark side. So we need to have this snapshot to know what is the real situation of, of companies and industries. There's an advantage in Gipuzkoa here. Our advantage is that we're starting to transform our industry uh, for 0.0 to X.0. So uh, we are redefining uh, the products, and this is a great opportunity to do it now because the, we are through this transformation. We are very proud of the number of industries that are very good here, and we need to include security. We have a small territory. It's like having uh, Michelin stars because we have very good chefs, but it, we are now transforming industry, and it, this is a key moment. And we take we need to take advantage. We have very in, innovative companies. In in fact, uh, we've had the examples of the U.S. and Israel. We're not jealous. It's the ideal moment now to redesign uh, from scratch all the cyber sex uh, cyber sex uh, solutions to be included in this transformation process. Uh, through the ap application here, um, people ask us. 
uh, well, in fact, it's a reflection. What about uh, SMEs? We need smaller companies, and you are big companies in cybersec. What about small companies doing cybersecurity? Because this is a small province. We are not, we're not big. We're not a giant. We are a thousand employees with the computers, uh, but in fact, uh, we are not that big. A, a plant is a very small um, environment. We have a very traditional way of doing things. We are small. Uh, if you compare ourselves with the US, in fact, uh, uh, we, we're small. All the, the companies in, in the Basque country would be SMEs if you compare with the US, and the, everything depends on scale. What is apl applicable to a small company is applicable to a big company. We're talking about cybersecurity here. It's not different when you're small. S my second part of the question, it, it's about resources, not about just about size. A small company, can it, can, can it pay for those services? It depends on, on your scale. You have a, t a thousand users to protect. Well, I have specific uh, thousand endpoints or firewalls. I only have 25 PCs to protect. It depends on scale. It's about idea, design, knowing what you want, and then apply it according to your scale. Yes, I have a comment here. We spoke about making people aware of the importance of cybersecurity. We need to generate a cybersecurity culture. In my opinion, we should learn from others what has been done in traditional security. A new culture has been created. You need a helmet if you go to a plant, you have your EPIs. And this affects small companies and big companies, and SME. Having people working in skyscrapers, uh, well, you have your security uh, equipment on you, but nobody understands that you take a USB uh, from home and then you plug it in your company, and that's dangerous. And I think that you need to, we need to create this cybersecurity culture, and this will be uh, impregnating the whole of the company. It's the, the most important part. It's about common sense and the basics, basic things to be done. I, I personally, what I try to do in a company when I detect a, a bug, I go from bottom, I go bottom up. So I go to see and see the employee, why something is not working, where's the bug, and then we go up to the management. So we cover all the cycle. So there's a need of education in security. And as for costs, many people are war uh, uh, concerned about the price of security. So if I'm a small SME, I'm not going to do anything. Well, that's not the point. In the past, mounting honeypots was terrible. You, uh, these were uh, very expensive systems. It was very costly. But this has evolved. It's, it's changed. Processors are faster, and we have very fast technologies and uh, very simple technologies, and they're not expensive. And now we're making this effort here in CIUR. We're going to work on this. Cybersecurity has to be democratic and for all, and uh, with a lower cost for SMEs. We all work together so that uh, cybersecurity can be cheap. Security and cybersecurity are related to education. But people say education is very expensive. Well, education can be, um, made, be made for all at, at a normal price. Yes, it's about generating awareness, the importance of cybersecurity. And you've mentioned in your, your presentation. But one spoke about people that, uh, who are reluctant. Industrial companies which didn't adapt. Or we'll do it when others do it. What would you say to those people? People who are reluctant to change and to include cybersec. Um, what about the management in those industries? What would you tell them? Because we have no m much time, but please give us a, an argument. What are, is the uh, idea behind that in, st in order to uh, break that reluctance? How could you convince the, the management? Okay, yeah, it's now my turn. We are a company, uh, and we help Danobat to do a predictive maintenance. My company is uh, industry for 
point zero, but as for uh, I, ICT's maintenance, it's necessary, connectivity is necessary because you can save between 25 to 40% costs. So you're going to open up your plant to the world, but you're going to be exposed. And there is a basic problem here. Everybody in each uh, in, in on, um, machine learning or big data talks, Everybody will say that cybersecurity and data, this is a very a valuable asset. What is the cost of those data? In the, in the um, general accounts, in the balance sheet, what is the value of that of data? There's no line for that. So uh, the thing is that you can lose data, and it's an immense risk, because you know that know-how today is what defines c competitiveness in a company. If you don't, you can't protect your data, you're going to lose them. And the only way to protect those data is cybersecurity. Yes, you're right. And the thing is, when there's a, there's a big bug, a big incident, that's when, when the company reacts. It's too late sometimes. But I think with time, people are more aware of the problem. You need some cybersecurity. And, uh, and this is uh, decided and talked about in uh, the boards. But what do we do? That's that's the pl that's the, the idea. Well, they need a type of cyber security plan. How much do I need to invest? These are the key questions in, in the management board. So we have to convince companies of this uh, importance. In our case, I use a comparison when designing redundant systems uh, to multiply everything by two. I go to the financing manager, and he has to be convinced, and I show th him the worst case. My case is quite simple, because we cannot have downtimes. So our risk is maximum if we stop the machines. How much do, does it cost to estimate a downtime? How much can it cost? Yes, give numbers to your financial boss. So let, let's talk about the worst situation, and I know the price. A downtime of 10 minutes due to a cyber attack is going to cost that amount of money. And I think everybody understands that with figures. And of course, that it could be an advantage also to have suffered from an attack. Uh, unfortunately, this, we've seen very serious cases. We are exposed. And sometimes people are convinced by the by that, they decide to go to cybersecurity uh, solutions because they've suffered from a big attack. Do you think that people are more aware? Are, are, they, are people more concerned about that? Yes, it's true. We spoke about the word awareness raising. Cybersecurity is a key pillar in a company today. But we need to change the concept. Investing in cybersecurity is not a cost, it's just an investment. It has to be aligned with your business strategy, and this is quite clear now. In cybersecurity, in industries, there's a whole chain from the CEO to, to a user. It covers everything. It's not just about these IT guys. No, it's something that affects all the chain. We normally say that a good consulting, a good advice is, fun is fundamental. It's one more pillar. It's an, another business pillar, and continuity is so important. And we I think people are more and more aware. So people are concerned, but they take action. There's a long way still. One of the main goals of this conference is to help uh, open up this conversation and to focus on uh, your tar targets, which are uh, industrial companies. We haven't used of the rules. What about using devices? How can I use the, the, the devices? What are the rules to be uh, respected? Well, we um, have an expert um, lawyer's office. We have... Uh, legal people, uh, because there's uh, data protection and privacy to be protected. We have a document that the employee has to sign. And in that document, we explain the correct use of machines and of your own electronic devices so that everything is covered. So, so how, how can you use your computer or not? What can you uh, 
do we can connect to, uh, remotely to your computer without your permission. Everything is explained in that document. And if there's a problem with an employee, well, you have this document, and the person knows how, how to use his or her devices, so you're covered. Of course, sometimes they forget, but it's been signed by the employees. So we have a legal support here. I invite you to continue uh, to uh, read the questions. And we have no more time, so you can have uh, personal exchanges during coffee break. Ramon, if, what about your fire? Maybe if you ha hadn't had a fire in your plan, things could have been different. So take advantage of this uh, coffee break now to talk uh, to be and to get in touch with these guys. There are many questions uh, haven't been answered, but because the, we had a lack of time, but it's it's impossible because we need to uh, continue with our agenda. Thank you very much to you all. Okay. Ya vamos a